All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Vue 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on adding the validation for remaining input fields, uh, which is start time, end time, and client name. So if I submit this form, then we see this beautiful uh, validation message for client name, start time, and end time. And for those start time and end time, we'll be using the library called Flat Picker to choose the date and time. So if I click on this, over here then we see this beautiful calendar from where we can choose date as well as time from here right similarly with end time and finally we'll show the list of clients name dynamically as well so throughout this video we'll be building this exact thing so now let's get started okay so first of all let's start by adding this library which is flat picker and we'll be using npm to install it so let me copy this open up the terminal and do npm install flat picker and after that we'll be using inside our component so we need to import that so we'll be using this es module syntax and if i open up the terminal this got installed and if i go to appointment form and let me go to the top and here let's import that and also we need to import the css file as well so let's do import from flat picker dist themes and we'll be using the light theme so if you are curious then you can go over theme sections and we have different available themes now to use this library we need to first initialize it so over our unmounted hook instead of unmounted and we need to import that unmounted from view And inside this, we can do flat picker. And for the element, we'll be using the class which is flat picker. And we'll add that class later. And we can pass the object as a second argument as of the configuration values. For now, let me leave this as empty. And let me go to appointment date. Let me change this to start time and then end time and over here we'll be adding the class called flat picker now let me go over here and refresh it and we see this beautiful date picker right and from where we can sense that date but we are unable to select the time because we haven't enabled it so from our configuration we need to enable that so let me go over here and we can do enable time is true let me refresh it and this is also working for end time as well and we can choose the date and here we can change this format as well to display am and pm so here it is displaying 13 instead of 1 pm so for that we need to change this date format so let's do that from our configuration values we can pass date format and we can give it a format which is year, month, day, hour, minute and then am and pn. Let me save this, refresh it and if I click on this date, now here it is displaying that date on our specified format, right? And if I increase this, then we see 1 am, 1 pm, which is perfect. And one thing you have noticed is, if I click over here, this is 12 at the beginning but we can also change that value as well so let's do default hour is let's start from 10 and if you want to know more about this configuration values then you can go over flat picker and click on config options okay uh, for our project this is fine so let me check this and this is starting from 10 which is great and for the real world applications we need to consider different things while working with this appointment start time and end time like we need to make some date disabled if it is holiday we need to make some date disabled if it is on weekend and we don't want to select a specific time that is already been booked and so on and so on but for this video we'll just work on this simple date picker and time picker which is fine for now 
Now let's add the validation for these two inputs. Currently we do not have validations, so it is not showing the validation message. So let's work on that. Let me search for start time and then let me copy this from here and errors dot start time and we need to bind the class call is invalid and we'll show this class if we have errors dot start time similarly let me copy this and use that instead of end time as well and time and let me copy this and use it over here and time now let me try this let me submit it it is still not working because we haven't added validations in our controller so over here let's do start time is required and time is required and in our appointment form let's add a v model for this input as well so let me change this to text v model equals form dot start time v model equals form dot end time let me change this to text also let me change the id as well and time and this is start time and in our form object over here let's change this to start time and then end time refresh it click on submit now we see this beautiful validation message but we don't see the message for end time so let's fix that as well and this is end underscore time and this is working let me go to the controller and let's fix some other part let's save this as validated data so that we can use it over here so for start time we'll be using validated start time and for end time we'll be using validated end time let's change this to validated title and validated description now let me fill out this form this date with another time click on submit now this got saved to our database which is perfect finally let's make this section as dynamic as well so currently we are just adding the id manually so let's fix this as well first of all let's add the validation for client id as well so over here let's do client id and make this as required let me go to appointment form select client and then let me copy this part errors dot client id let's add v model to form dot client id and let's add this class as well we have the errors for client id now let me try this submit this then we are getting that validation message but it is saying that the client id field is required but this message is not clear for the users right but it will be great if we change this message to the client name field is required as we have client name over here right so to change this message let me go to appointment controller and as a second argument we can pass another parameters and here we can do client id if we have the required validation then we can show this message test message then if i click on submit we see that test message right now we can change this to let me copy this client name field is required now if i submit this then we get this better message right and finally let's show this list of clients dynamically so for that we need to create one axios method to get the clients so let me go over here 
let me define a method called get clients and over here let's perform the access request access.get api slash clients and then we'll get the response and we'll save that response in our state so for that let's do clients.value equals response.data and we haven't defined this state so let's define this state const client and make this as reactive reference instead of client let me change this to clients as we'll be saving multiple clients right now we need to import ref from view so ref and we haven't defined this endpoint as well so let's find that endpoint let me go to web.php file and over here let me find the route for api slash clients and we haven't created that controller so let me create that controller using php artisan let me a controller inside of admin slash client controller now over here we can do client controller class and let's call the index method on it and this got imported over here so let me go to that class and let's add that method call index and from here let's just return client latest and get all those clients and let's import this from app models client let me go to appointment form select client over here we need to loop over each clients so we can do v4 client in clients and for the key let's use client id let's remove this and instead of client name let me so client dot first name and then client dot last name and we have already added the migrations for it right and we have first name and last name and for the value we we'll be using client dot id now let me go to the browser refresh it and this is not working if i open up the console we do not see any errors but we actually forgot to call that method get clients so after the component is mounted let's call that method called get clients so this will get one and if i refresh it and over here we see this list of clients which are coming from our database which is great now let me fill out this form start time and time click on submit and that got saved to our database but still we haven't changed that client id so let's change that client id from appointment controller and instead of client id we need to get that from validated client id now let me try this one more time refresh this page start time and time click on submit now we have this client with this date and time so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one